power tools use many bearings to allow various components to rotate. Over time, a ball bearing will wear and begin to fail. A bearing that is failing will usually give warning, often with a squeaking or a squealing sound. Replacing a ball bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the air filter cover and the air filter. Now remove the screws that secure the air filter base and the carburetor. Next I'll remove the starter. And now remove the engine cover. Now remove the muffler. Now remove the spark plug. The heat shield. and the insulator. Along with the gasket. Now I can remove the cylinder. I'll rotate the cylinder 90 degrees and now I can pull it away from the piston. Now I'll remove the gasket. Now I can remove the retaining ring. With the retaining ring removed, I'll use a small pick to push the piston pin away from the piston. And now I can remove it. As I do, I'll be careful that I don't drop the bearing and washers down into the crankcase. I can remove the washers and the bearing. Now I can install the new bearing. To install the bearing, I'll first apply a little bit of two-cycle oil to lubricate it. Then I'll slide the bearing into the connecting rod. I'll install the washers on either side. And again, I'll apply oil to each part. Now install the piston. The arrow on the piston should be pointing towards the exhaust side of the engine. I'll apply some oil to the piston pin and insert it through the piston and into the connecting rod. and I'll install the second snap ring to secure the piston pin. I'll 
I'll make sure that the snap ring engaged in the groove all the way around. I'll place the gasket on top of the crank case, making sure I align it with the screw holes and the opening for the piston. To install the cylinder, first I'll apply some two-cycle oil to the inside. This will lubricate the cylinder to the piston. To install the cylinder, I'll want to rotate it so either the intake port or the exhaust port is facing against the back of the tool. That just makes it fit a little easier so I can slide it onto the piston. I'll need to compress the piston rings and carefully slide the cylinder over the piston. Once the cylinder is past the piston rings, I'll rotate it again so the exhaust port and the intake port are on the correct sides. Then I'll seat the cylinder against the crankcase and now I can secure it with the screws. I'll insert the screws back into the cylinder. and I'll use a long screwdriver to secure them. Initially, I just leave the screws loose. Then I like to manually rotate the engine over and this will help to center the cylinder. And now I'll tighten the screws. Now I'll reinstall the insulator and gasket. Now reinstall the muffler. Next I'll reinstall the heat shield. and then the spark plug. And now I'll reinstall the motor cover.
Next, I'll reinstall the starter. Now I'll reinstall the air filter base and the carburetor. I'll finish up by reinstalling the air filter and the air filter cover. And now you know how to replace the bearing in your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.